In this video, we're going to cover off how you can get your single touch payroll registered with the ATO. So what you're going to need, you're going to need to be in your payroll software. You're going to need to go to payroll settings. And at the top here, there's ATO settings. So click there. You're going to click on this tab up the top that says electronic lodgement and STP. And you're going to notice that you have a software provider name and a software ID. We're going to need both of those to do the lodgement. Now navigate to the website am.ato.gov.au. Before we log in, I just want to mention that you will need a MyGov ID login to be able to access this portal. You get that from downloading the app and then setting up your own uh, personal identification, so entering things like driver's license, Medicare cards, that sort of thing. And you then need to link your business to um, that particular profile that you've got set up through Relationship Access Manager, which is a little bit different to the to the system that we're trying to log into here. Relationship Access Manager is basically allowing you to be an authorized representative of the business you're trying to register. You may already be, or you may not be. So just a quick note, make sure you've got a MyGov ID and make sure you are an authorized representative. Once you've got that sorted, you click Log In with MyGov ID. Now here it's gonna ask me to um, log in. Now I'm gonna put my email address in here click log in and it's going to send it's going to want me to put a code in on the app on my phone in this case I've got a push notification on my phone which you guys can't see and I have to type in 8253 to get it to work I click accept on my phone and now it sends a signal back here and says okay it's ready to go So now we're in, what it's given me here is a list of businesses I can access. So these are businesses I'm either involved with or help out or whatever the case might be. Today I'm going to be using uh, Payroll Compliance Australia as our example. I'm going to click continue. And what we want to do, we want to click on my hosted SBR software services. I'm going to click notify the ATO of our hosted service. And then I'm going to type in KeyPay. K-E-Y-P-A-Y. -Y. Search for it. There they are. I click on the ABN to accept that search. And now I'm going to add software ID. As I mentioned at the start, that software ID comes from here, that figure that's highlighted in settings. I'm going to copy that and paste it here in Access Manager. And I'm going to click Next for the confirmation. And then I am going to click the notification to say that I'm happy with it. Click save and that's been registered. So the last thing to do once that's registered is to go back to your payroll software and click the enable electronic lodgement button. It'll go through a declaration a few de it'll go through a few declaration steps as you go through this. Click proceed and read through as you go. Make sure you're comfortable with all these details that are in here and you'll be the employer in this case, not a registered tax agent, unless you have, for example, an outsourced power provider that's uh, lodging STP for you. So click the employer in most cases, click next. Um, we've already done that step, so we can say that it's option one, where we actually went in and through the login portal and did it ourselves. Tick to acknowledge that it's us, not uh, WebScale that's doing that lodgement for you, and click complete. You're now enabled. So if I went back to ATO settings now, you'll see that STP is now recorded as enabled. That'll allow us to do things like lodge tax file declarations from the software after we onboard an employee, or make changes to tax file declarations as it were. You can also lodge STP events, finalization events, and that sort of thing after you lodge payroll. So mandatory step, make sure you've got all your credentials set up before you try and attempt it. Um, once it's done, set and forget, you never have to do it again, and you can launch single touch payroll every time you finalize a payroll in the software. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. See you on the next one.